HDR, or High Dynamic Range, allows newer TVs and monitors to display a much broader range of color and brightness intensities. Vegas Pro 16 has been re-engineered to support the greater dynamic range of these new formats and supports the ACES color space developed by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. To enable HDR support, first choose 32-bit floating point full range as the pixel format in the project properties. This will ensure that all image processing operations are performed with high dynamic range precision and that any high dynamic range media maintains its full fidelity throughout the editing process. In the View Transform menu, leave the setting as sRGB ACES if you're evaluating color on your standard computer display. If your computer display and graphics card supports HDR, then you may be able to use HDR10 as the preview. To preview an HDR10 format, set View Transform to Rec 2020 ST2084 1000 nits. If you're working with a Rec 709 broadcast monitor, select the appropriate Rec 709 transform. Alternate color transforms are available for other display devices. Once this is set, Vegas will work in a high fidelity linear float color space throughout the timeline workflow while displaying the images correctly on your chosen display or projector. The viewer transform let is indicated at the bottom of the video preview window. The final step is to remove the initial color transform from your source media. To do that, just right-click the media in the Project Media window, choose Properties, and select the correct source color space. Color space options are listed by manufacturer, but you may want to check with the DP on a shoot for the color space they used when filming. This removes any color space bias from the source media and corrects it to be compatible with the high dynamic range ACES color space of the Vegas timeline. Use the Vegas LUT filter to perform corrections using additional third-party LUTs and use Vegas effects like Vegas Levels along with 10-bit video scopes to adjust the colors to the desired output. Finally, to output your completed timeline edit with high dynamic range, choose File, Render As, and select Magix HEVC from the Formats list and then one of the HDR templates from the Templates list to get an HDR output. And if you're working with a format that supports custom color spaces like a DPX sequence, choose Customize Template and select a color space from the list. Vegas Pro will convert your edited timeline from its internal linear float space to the selected color profile.